Coucou les filles, hello my loves, marhaba haibaite. I have a, an interesting haul for you guys today. Uh, so I heard that Drake was making candles and I've been going through a candle phase and a Drake listening to phase and I thought, what better collaboration to throw my money at than this. So these are the Better Fragrance World, right? I'm gonna get that right. Better Fragrance House, evidently not, candles, um, which, I mean, I could have probably looked into a little bit more intentionally, intentfully. To me, it appears that these, this company is a Drake company and these are his candles. Um, the way it, it appears though online is like, this is its own standalone company. He just kind of put a stamp on it. Whatever it is, there is that collaboration. I was excited. I jumped on him. I have a couple points <laughs> that I want to raise before I jump into this. One is why is a company or a collaboration which Drake, it's not, it has to be, I think it's his company um, because these are the only candles they sell. Um, it's not like there is like his collaboration than other ones. Regardless though, if you are gonna put your stamp on a collection, sir, as a Canadian man, why are these all in US dollars? So I was, I was like confused at the beginning as to why they're in US dollars, but I'm like, whatever, like he's from Toronto, he's very proud of that, but maybe these are manufactured somewhere else. These ship from Ontario. <laughs> so if someone can explain to me why it's in US dollars, why I had to pay $40 in shipping, qualm number one. Okay, interesting qualm number two that I have is that there are five candles, I bought all five, uh, the, this one, Carby Musk, which they themselves on their Instagram page talk about how this one's supposed to smell like him, is priced almost twice as much as the other ones. I did not notice this when I was making my order because I was scared it would sell out, so I just like added everything to cart. Why? Anyways, those are my two qualms uh, um, before we get started. These are all 10.5 ounce candles, so they do feel, the boxes are big, like you, the size of my face. I'm trying to see if I have anything else to show you for comparison. I don't know, like my phone is here. You know what I mean? Like it, the box is large, but the candle itself is not a huge size. Like it's kind of like the size of a normal like cup that you would have, like it's not gigantic. Um, these are strange. Uh, I have thoughts, but let's go with the, the, the basics of it. There are five smells. Four of them are priced at $48. Let me double check that I'm not speaking out of my behind. 48, and then this one is 90. Um, odd. They all come in this uh, cardboard box, and then in the box, you get the candle with this like velvet, and then there's a pen because on the back is the name of the candle with the word for, so you could put somebody's name there. These are all for Sarah from Sarah, so I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on them. Um, I wanted to love them, I really did, but I think, I don't, I don't know. I, let me walk you through, like I feel like, bottom line is I feel like they're kind of overpriced for what they are. Um, the smells themselves are not, are not that kind of distinct, like multi-layered scent that I was expecting from a luxury candle. Uh, if you're gonna price higher than anything in the market, you're gonna charge me an arm and a leg for shipping. You're gonna charge me in US dollars when you're a Canadian company. Like all these things already were like making me not be in a great mood. Um, but I wanted to, like, despite all that, I wanted to love them and I got them and they just kind of smell, <sighs> some of them I actually don't even like the smell of. So I'm gonna do my best to describe the smells um, to you as to what the description on the website says, then what I actually think they smell like, and then you can make your judgments on what you think. I'm very sassy today. I think it's these nails. So <laughs> let me just get into it. Uh, okay, let's see. So I am going to go, the one right in front of me here is Carby Musk. So let's grab that on the on their website. So this is the, supposedly like the Drake smell. On the website, it says that this is the first set that they, the first set that they developed. Um, 
it's supposed to have trail air technology, so that's what they're saying why it's more expensive, that it stays in the air longer. I haven't burnt any of these yet. I wanted to do this as soon as they came in because I was hoping I would love them and I, I sat down and I smelled them before I filmed the video and I was like, eh, okay, anyways. I will, I will burn them and I will tell you if my impression changes. Anyway, so this, is, this one is supposed to be a layering of sweet velvety powdery musks, soft floral, amber, and marine connotations. The scent profile is musk. I love musk. I love musk so much. I even love musk when it's putrid and Noelle and I have arguments on whether or not putrid can be positive and I they say yes and she says no. But this smells, like honestly, this smells like just very strong macho aftershave. Like you know guys that have an attitude and wear that aftershave, this is what that smells like. And I'm sorry if British Drake smells like this. He needs to change his aftershave. I don't know. I wanted to love it. I really did. I love musky smells. I have a like a holiday candle that I got at um, uh, Home Sense. That's like this like musky like I my I smell it. My sister smells it. like it smells like men. I'm like yes, it's like earthy and my, and I love it. This just smells like yeah. Okay, we're gonna move right along. That's what that one smells like. Do you need to spell my? I don't think this is what the man smells like. I feel like he has a lot more money and probably has much more layered and distinct smells than that. I will burn it for the sake of science, not science, for the sake of testing it for you guys. And if my impression changes, I will let you know, but yeah. Anyways, okay, um, what do you have? Okay, I'm gonna go to the website. The next one is Good Thoughts. Um, and this one is supposed to smell like Brazilian oranges, Canadian fir trees, rose, Bulgarian roses and Australian sandalwood. Are you trying to pretend that you've sourced all these ingredients so that's why these kinds of things are expensive? I don't know, maybe. Um, so it, the scent profile is supposed to be floral. I can't remember what this one actually smelled like, so let's see. It does smell floral, but like, <laughs> to all my actual description of how I would describe this, this feels like my grandmother's how? Not even my gra my grandmother's house smells great. I have very sentimental touch with my grandmother's house. My grandmother's friends that would come visit her that wore that like floral perfume that lingered in the air and then on you because they would hug you super hard. That's what this smells like. Why so expensive? I don't know. Okay, that is good thoughts. I do not have good thoughts about it. I really didn't. I hate filming videos where I'm so critical. Okay, we're gonna just make this fun. We're gonna just. I people like put hard work into this. They care about this. I feel bad. I just like. Okay, we're gonna try to make this fun and not not so sassy and critical. The next one is Muskoka. Um, what are you telling me the sound profile is? So wood, cloves, and sandalwood to perfectly capture the smoldering warmth of burning woods and golden embers. Warm and woody, it's supposed to be an oriental woody is the scent profile, really. That's the description you're gonna put. Okay. So this one does smell like the woods. I will give it that. And it's got a little bit of like dimension to it. It actually is smelling a little bit like her brother who just went back to Vancouver and I miss him. So, okay. This could smell like my brother. He did ask me if I was gonna gift him one. So maybe once I burn, maybe that's the one I would give him because it smells like him. He might actually like that. We'll see. Okay, Sweeter Tings, T-I-N-G, uh, is this next one. They also appear all to still be in stock. I'm not telling you that as a recommendation to go buy them, but you know, if you're interested to have a similar experience that I'm having, you could. Um, <laughs> this one is a nostalgic and addictive fragrance. Subtleties of comfort and goodness, Italian citrus supported by precious wood from Haiti, combined with floral rose, exemplifies the connectivity of storytelling through scent. Scent profile is an oriental gourmand. So what do you actually smell like? It smells like potpourri, like it really does. Like old school potpourri, I don't smell anything woodsy about it. Um, and it is a, this one it seems like a much gentler uh, scent than the other four so far. Like the other ones were stronger than this one. And then the last one was actually her favorite. It's the Williamsburg sleepover. I think her exact words were, she's like, it smells a little bit like a man, but then a little bit like a woman. So maybe that's what they mean by Williamsburg sleepover. Uh, this genderless, that's what they're calling, 
and luminous fragrance captures the essence of an urban garden under a shaded light. Red roses, blonde wood, amber, patchouli, Lang Lang, Madagascar. Oh, the, yeah, Lang Lang from Madagascar. Emanates confidence, intimacy for seduction in a candle. Scent profile, floral, woody musk. I would not write. Rent. I would not light candles in an intimate setting. I feel like I would be constantly scared of setting a fire, but not these for sure. Okay, so this is weird. It does smell like someone's apartment for like a slumber party. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have a strong power of suggestion, but I don't know. It smells like somebody's home. I can't smell any of the things that they described and it's a little bit faint. So anyways, I don't know. I think, I mean, I think the glasses are cute. Maybe I'll burn them and reuse them. I spent like 400 bucks on candles and I'm like, I could have gone to Bath and Body Works. Like, and I hate that. And like, I am the like, so here's the thing is I am the queen of luxury. Like you guys have been here long enough. You know that I love all things high end and I will like go to the mat telling you that my $130 foundation or my $70 lipstick or whatever is that much better um, than it's due from the drugstore. And I was expecting to have a similar situation here and especially because of the Drake collab and I'm having serious buyer's remorse. Like if there was a store where I could take these back, I unfortunately would. <laughs> um, this is also the girl that literally just bought herself an iPad because I wanted like to use it as an e-reader. Like, and I fully appreciate how excessive and stupid and silly it is to buy an iPad and use it as an e-reader. But like, I feel like I'm telling you these things about myself to show you that like, I'm good paying a stupid amount of money for things that aren't necessarily that much better than their alternative. But these are worse. So I will burn them because I bought them and I wanna see if it makes it any better. If I really hate them, I will potentially find new homes for them, but. Yeah, let me know if you guys have bought anything ridiculous lately that's made you feel this way. Um, I'm gonna do some points of positivity and be out for the day. My first point of positivity is um, I've been rewatching Superstore. I was trying to remember what it was called on Netflix. That's making me happy. My second point of positivity is a yummy curry I had for lunch today. And my third point of positivity is a like really healing and soothing book I'm listening to called Broken Open. Let me know what's making you guys smile. I will talk to you soon. I'm glad that I didn't leave this in my last video to film because I'm in a weird mood now. I'm gonna go film um, some run Disney goodies, which is why I'm wearing this shirt. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Alrighty, let me know what's making you smile. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I can't leave you without reminding you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye guys.